Hi, I'm Brian Wilcox, and I'm the principal investigator for Athlete. Athlete is the all-terrain, hex-limbed, extraterrestrial explorer that we hope to fly to the moon in a decade or so. I'm here at the JPL Outdoor Test Facility, and we're going to see a little bit about what Athlete can do. Athlete is a six-legged vehicle with six wheels on the end of each of the legs. The legs are connected to a hexagonal frame so that we can have a flat deck for cargo to, that we might carry on the moon. It could be either equipment or it could be a habitat. Every face of the hexagonal frame has a pair of stereo cameras that allow us to get a stereoscopic panoramic view of the surroundings of the vehicle and to display that to the operator uh, back on Earth. So the operator, it's as if they're standing in the middle of the vehicle looking out uh, everywhere in, in every direction. Every leg has a wheel on the end, and the wheel is relatively small because we know we can use it to roll efficiently on moderate and fairly hard terrain, but we also know that we can lock it and use it as a foot if we get into soft or uh, extreme terrain. The wheel, being as small as it is, has a, has a much smaller motor inside than it would have to have if it needed to go on the worst possible terrain. That weight savings allows us to put a, a tool adapter on every leg that allows us to adapt any kind of a power tool uh, into the leg and to use this power takeoff to, to power that tool. So in this case this is a simple gripper and the gripper is actuated by the wheel. When you turn the wheel, it closes the gripper, uh, closes or opens the gripper. We also have a pair of, again, a stereo pair of cameras that we can use to look at the, at the end of the tool and look at what the tool is doing so that you can see exactly what you need to see uh, to use that tool effectively. This vehicle is just a prototype, and it's only about half as big as the one that we expect to fly in another decade or so. At that time, we hoped to land payloads as much as 20 tons, and with legs like these, we could not only land them on the moon, but then they'd have mobility and manipulation when they got there.